How to start a text conversation that doesn't suck. This one sucks. <laughs> Hi, you. How are you? Nice shoes. Hi, you. Hey. And if you see down here, this girl actually posted this on Instagram. And it says, men, take note. If you send me 122 messages in three months and I don't respond, it means I'm not interested. Hashtag take a hint. Hashtag go away. Hashtag now you're blocked. Hashtag stalk my life. <laughs> this sucks. Let's talk about how to start a text conversation that doesn't suck. The first one is callback humor. So, let me go back one. What is callback humor? If I'm out and I meet a girl at a Starbucks and we have a you know, five minute conversation and during that conversation we both talk about how much we like running or how much we like hockey. We connect over some commonality and that's the thing that I remember about the conversation I'm going to use some sort of humor that's relevant when I text her back. So an example of that, take this girl Daria. I met Daria at a Petco. I was buying food for my dog. She was there with her little dog. And I used a ridiculous line because I'm usually out with my dog. If I see another girl with a dog, or even if she doesn't have a dog, I'll walk up to her and I'll say, hey, have you heard of Caesar Milan? You know, like the dog whisperer. Well, I'm kind of like Caesar Milan, I, I speak to my dog. And your dog just told my dog that you have a crush on me. <laughs> and it's the most ridiculous, corny, lame, stupid line, but it's just so over the top and goofy it works. And of course I call myself out afterwards, and I'm like, sorry for the cheese ball line, but she gets the point, right? Now we're in a conversation. So that's what happens with Daria. And I, I texted her later, hey, it's Prince Cheeseball Charming from Petco and his sidekick Wiley. She gets a text like that, and she obviously knows who it is, and it's now it's fun, it's flirty, it's a great conversation. Here's another way to start a conversation, because you don't always know what, you can't always go back with callback humor. Sometimes you won't think of anything, or you can't think of anything that was funny about the conversation, but this line is great. I call it the standard protocol line. So this is a girl that I met named Samira, met her at a bar, I was so drunk I couldn't remember much of what we talked about, which killed my chances for recall humor. And this, takes, this text makes, me, makes fun of the silly line in the Swingers movie that you have to wait three days before texting a girl. So the line is, hey, first name, I know it's standard protocol to wait three days before texting, but I wait five. I know, I know, I'm a gangster, lol. <laughs> She's going to follow up with something like this. It's three business days, so you're not doing too bad. Smiley, how you been, right? The last way, and for all of you guys out there that love to meet women during the day, this is a text that you can always send that will always be relevant to that interaction, all right? And it's simply flipping the script. If I hit on her during the day, I'm gonna accuse her of hitting on me, which is, Hey, Jenny, I thought it was really impressive slash courageous how you randomly approached and hit on me yesterday. Robbie, P.S. Wiley was impressed too. That was my dog. So that was a little bit of callback humor infused with the flip the script line. So this is a lot better than sending the, hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm Johnny. Remember me? It's just boring. It's lame. Now, who here knows what a meme is? Hopefully everybody. In um, April of 2013, I stumbled across out, find it on the YouTube channel, but you can find him at interconfidence.com. And his name is Robbie Kramer. Let's come on up. Yes. If you use too many emojis, you'll look really gay. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep it to one emoji for like every two or three texts at the most. Absurd, tell me to jump off a bridge. But now her only options are A, B, C how this went, and I don't want you guys to have to remember anything, so if you text this number, actual stuff, it's just too high risk. 
there's really no point in doing it. And a lot of other guys do it. <laughs> 